So this is what we're working on. So I'm going to start with make with uh, a pipe, a primitive uh, object, a polygon pipe. So we can start with uh, creating sort of this part. So I'm going to create the pipe. And I'm going to avoid a lot of information. I'm going to make this, uh, instead of like 20 subdivisions, I'm going to go down to 12. <coughs> what I'm going to try to do is get this this cylind cylindrical part from the back I can extrude this piece so I can get this um, cylindrical back as we can see from the image let's um, So I'm trying to make, I'm going to make this piece here. It, since it's like higher, that's why I'm like creating the pipe first, then extruding part of that pipe to get that height. That's why I'm doing this. And I don't know yet how much I can resize later. So object mode. And... Um, now we don't really need all these faces since we're going to make a compound object I'm going to delete all these faces that are going to be the back side that is going to be attached on the other cylindrical part so let's make the cylinder I'm going to go to my front view and create a cylinder and let this get this height and let's make this 12, the same size, same subdivisions. And I'm going to increase the subdivisions on the height too. Go to my top view. And look at this. Turn on the wireframe on shaded. Turn off the grid. So I have this object. and I want to align these two together so select them both let me show you the, an, another alignment method I'm going to select this first and this second so first the pipe second the cylinder I can go to my modify align objects snap align objects and I'm going to go to the align objects here in the option and I can use uh, I want to align in all axes like X, Y, Z in the middle and align to the last selected object. Apply so this aligns these together. So now we know that this is exactly on the center. And um, what we need to do now is to get rid of some faces on this cylinder. But before I do that, let's go and count. Let's make this a little bit larger. Actually, let's uh, delete these faces. So I'm getting rid of these faces. Delete. And I might need to readjust these edges here. Select these one. Bring it actually the vertices easier with the vertices to bring them down so 
<sighs> all these rows of vertices, I'm like trying to align them with my shape here to see how many. It's exactly what I did last time when I was trying to. Um, yeah. So I need one over here. So insert an edge over here. So sort of to match the geometry. <coughs> okay, so now we can start putting together this these two objects. This might want to go in a little bit more. On the top view, I want to select these vertices here, these three vertices. And just move them back a little bit, trying to follow the, that uh, curvature. And this closer. And I'm going to start, I'm going to select both of these objects and edit um, and actually combine them to one. So now we have a, a singular object. And we're going to start putting them together. So edit mesh. I'm going to use the append to polygon tool. I have the same technique in the videos I sent you by um, sort of how to point, making the hole and then putting together the object. And the append to polygon tool is very easy to use. It's just you go to the one edge and then you try to go to and then you go straight across and click on the cross the, the edge across and then enter. So you kind of, and then you form that face. If I press G to repeat the command, I do it again. So edges across to each other. Let's not worry about this triangle here. Um, it's just that we need more information here. So I'm going to insert an edge loop on this side. And um, move these vertices back. And these. So I'm trying to And I'm going to delete these faces also, just to have a, be a better And I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep uh, moving the vertices and, until I get these close. So select the edge, actually append to polygon tool, click, Let's close these triangles. And we'll we're get, we're going to get rid of them later. Actually, select these faces here and delete. And we're going to start snapping these vertices. So, vertex, select this vertex over here, snap to point, 
snap it over here. When you snap vertices to points of mm -hmm. the void that you can you don't see them like merge. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's like it it doesn't. You can just merge them without snapping them. You can do that, but like um, right, it's better to snap them first, then select the vertices. Select them and go. Yeah, edit merge. merge. And this. So I don't want to work on both sides. So I'm gonna get rid of the faces I don't need. And basically, let's select all these vertices and merge them. The threshold is very low, so merging them is not going to be a problem. It's going to only merge the ones that are actually attached, to, uh, are actually like overlapping. So merge. So let's select so we need to actually merge more of those here. See all these uh, faces get rid of, and it's easier to work now with this uh, shape open. So let's select these vertices here, snap it up here. And uh, select them and merge. Use the append tool. And we'll see how we can get rid of these later. We always, we're always we always going to end up with some triangles. Sometimes we need to just uh, create them, and then we'll see how we can get rid of them. So now by creating this triangle, I have a problem. How can I get rid of it? Well, I could just go ahead and use my in, uh, split polygon tool to start another loop a manual one I can just draw it all the way around and keep going until I find the other triangle uh, until I find the, this part which I started and split polygon to Go ahead and select these edges. 